campus of Church of Christ, just north of Walmart, on Sundays at 10.10 a.m. Welcome back on the Good Morning Artesia Radio Show, and I'm Gene Dow. Joining us now is Artesia girls basketball coach Jeff Hodling. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. Good to see you today. Thank you. Good to be here. Yeah. Um, before we went on the air, I was asking you. You have another weekend assignment now, don't you? <laughs> you're the pastor at the Hermosa Drive Baptist Church. I am. Yeah. Uh, been uh, got called to do that um, in January, so I've been at it for. About five months now. So well, well, that's got to be well, uh, real well exciting, and uh, it is trying to, to find time to get everything uh, everything in. So got plenty of time. Good, good. You <laughs> ever get to go fishing? A um, little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Because I know your brother and your dad sure like to go fishing. So yeah, I squeeze in a little bit here and there. So yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah. It's good. Well, let's talk about the girls' basketball camp. And I had the papers. And I did the commercial announcement, and then I've lost the papers. <laughs> That's right, I got it. But it's it's next week. It is starts June first, uh, which is Tuesday. So uh, June first, second, and third, uh, there at the Bulldog Pit, from nine to noon each day. Okay. So. And is this for girls or boys and girls? Well, it's designed for girls. It's it's the Lady Bulldog Basketball Drills and Skills Camp, but we don't turn away any little little guys little boys well, we've had boys in the past uh but the boys do have a camp later in june i'm sure coach mondrian will be visiting with you about that oh, if he, he hasn't wanted, already he wanted to talk about it last night during graduation oh, and i said yeah. no no you just read the names <laughs> save it huh <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we don't turn anybody away in fact i've already had a couple of parents contact me about little boys and so of course they're welcome uh, but it is geared towards the girls and uh our, our varsity girls for next year are the ones kind of direct camp of course the coaches are there on on site and i'll have four coaches maybe five there to help uh, with some of the junior high coaches but uh, we really like that idea that the high school girls get to give back um, and it's fun to see them do that because the majority of them came up through the camp as little girls and it's it's very rewarding for me as a coach to see that how they've grown and uh, matured in their basketball level and skills so it's fun for them to be able to get back and, and uh, coach the little ones uh, to get better. Now, you, you, I think you mentioned the age groups. What, what are the age groups again that are? Sure. The, the age groups, we take K through 9. So uh, we got quite a range there. But, you know, people that are familiar with the, the pit, we have three courts. And so we can kind of split them up pretty good. Uh, kindergarten through third grade kind of stay together. And then fourth through seventh stay together and then eighth and ninth stay together so or fourth through six and then uh, seventh through ninth so um, basically the way the camp set up is uh and the kindergarten through third graders will go from nine to eleven and then the fourth through ninth graders get that additional hour uh, till noon and uh, the cost uh, k through third is fifteen dollars and then fourth through ninth is twenty five dollars so we charge a little more for that extra hour but uh, we can do a lot more in that that hour after the little ones leave we get a little more in depth with our fundamental stuff and we get to do some five on five and uh, each of the, the three days we have um, we pick teams on the first day and then we have uh, a chance for those teams to win what we call camp champs and we reward those uh, that group with a camp champ t-shirt and it's some fun stuff we do some competitive games with the older girls in that last hour so uh, we sure like to camp. It's a lot of fun, and we're looking forward to it. Is it just how many days uh, does the camp? Uh, it's just three days. Three days. Tuesday, okay. Wednesday, and Thursday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then Thursday, um, the last hour of the camp, we uh, we recognize the award winners. Um, that's another aspect of the camp that I didn't mention yet. Uh, we have it's competitive for all age groups, but we have three basically three competitions: a layup competition, a jump shot competition, and a free throw competition. And that's even for our little ones, K through third, are involved in that. And um, on Thursday, we'll recognize all the winners. We keep a running track all three days of who's made the most layups, who's made the most jump shots and free throws. And uh, we have uh, uh, medals for them as winners, and we have some plaques, and uh, it's a lot of fun. And um, we also have a most dedicated and a most um, committed to each age group. So 
uh, it's pretty it's pretty good and it's very rewarding for the little girls I think they really enjoy it and it's it's competitive so it brings out a little bit of fire in them and uh, that's what it's all about sometimes I bet it's pretty exciting when the little <laughs> ones make a basket or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it is. You know, we got some uh, kind of extender goals we put oh, down. Okay. The little ones get to shoot on an eight-foot goal, and, you know, we really try to keep their form. We start teaching them form shooting even at the kindergarten, first grade level, and about eight foot's about as high as they can get it up there. A lot of them, they're just not strong enough yet. So uh, some of them can shoot on the 10-foot goal, but most of them, that eight-foot goal is about right. And so we can kind of develop a good skill set there with fundamentals and form shooting on a smaller goal for them of course the older girls are all spread out around the gym you know we've got 18 baskets in the pit so plenty wow. of places to shoot when we put all the goals down you yeah. know there's six on each court so um it's good yeah it is it's very competitive and uh, uh while they're shooting we, we turn on some music and you know it's it's a great environment and you and it's skills and drills so what are some of the skills that you're really wanting these young ladies to pick up on yeah the the first part of our camp uh the first mm, i say half hour or maybe more than that 45 minutes is, ge is geared towards our skills uh, and we spend time with four things. We, we spend time passing, teaching them how to make solid bounce passes and chest passes and overhead skip passes. There's a lot of different things, you know, we can do there. Uh, ball handling, mm -hmm. you know, which is uh, just the basic stuff of taking care of the ball, you know, uh, getting a feel for the ball in their hand. Uh, we teach them some fun stuff, like we try to get them to spin it on their finger and, <laughs> um, you know, around their back and just between their legs and just basic ball handling skills. Uh, then dribbling, of course, we do a lot of uh, two-ball dribbling where they have to work both hands at the same time. And then, uh, of course, shooting, fundamentals of shooting. So uh, we have a little circuit that we have that they rotate around the gym, and each uh, goal has a different station where they get to work on uh, it's five minutes of each skill, so yeah. and they rotate around and, and practice on that. And then after that's over, we do some of the drills. You know, we put some of those things together where then we might do some uh, three-man weave up and down the court that combined all those those skills that we worked on. And then uh, we finish the camp with the, the competitive stuff, you know, the layups, the free throws, and the jump shots. Yeah. Sounds like it's a lot of fun, packed into three days, and yeah. uh, and and you probably set it up to where they don't know that they're working. <laughs> Hopefully, they're having fun, and then and then some of this stuff kind of digs in and into the brain and and sticks around for a little. Yeah, while. that's the idea. You know, we want it to be a lot of fun. We want them to look forward to coming back to the gym, and and uh, we see that. You know, as the girls make it to Zia and to junior high and up into high school, you know, we see that reflected in their attitude and the way they, they're happy to come to basketball. And, you know, we've talked a lot about that. We have the girls in here on Wednesday mornings during the season. And, and a lot of our girls don't end up loving basketball the most. You know, they, they prefer some of the other sports, but they still like it. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole idea. You know, we want the Drills and Skills Camp to get those little girls interested in basketball. And, of course, we got a handful of them that do love basketball, and that, that sure. turns out to be their main sport. But uh, we want them all to come in, you know, and um, just to get a little taste of it. And, of course, we're, we're partial. We think basketball is the best game. But <laughs> I understand that softball is a lot of fun and yeah. volleyball is a lot of fun. And uh, But we want them to get a good, uh, have a good taste of basketball in their mouth. And the Drills and Skills Camp gives them a chance to do that. Well, it's a good chance, too, for the parents to uh, have you guys watch them for a couple hours, too, so that doesn't hurt. Yeah, and, you know, I think having it right at the beginning of summer is good because they're all eager to, to have something to do right here at the beginning of summer, and so hopefully yeah. we get a good crowd, and uh, they, they do get a T-shirt when they register for the camp, and uh, on the last day of the camp, we, we buy them all a snow cone. We, we get the snow cone truck to park outside the gym there. and That's cool. Yeah, and on their way out, they get, to buy, they get a snow cone. So uh, there's a few things there, you know, to incentives for them to come to camp. And, of course, the medals and the awards. Yeah. Are part of it too so well that's great and uh, yeah. you mentioned the cost earlier uh you want to repeat that sure again? yeah the the I had a lot of people contact me about pre-registration and there's really not a pre-registration per se uh the camp starts tuesday at nine but the gym's going to open at eight so anybody can come between eight and nine to register they'll pick up their t-shirt there 
and K through third is fifteen dollars, and fourth through ninth is twenty five dollars. And so, again, they kind of get different things at the different age levels. But uh, camp cost does include a T-shirt. Of course, lots of good instruction and fun times in the gym, and a snow cone the last day, and and the chance to win those awards and medals. So. Uh, hopefully we get a good turnout, and I think we usually do. Well, we sure. usually do. So. Yeah. How many seniors do you have uh, there? Many, now, these are seniors that are going to be seniors this coming year, right? Yeah. And, man, it's it's going to be hard to say. I, I don't know. Yeah. We met at the end of, uh, well, last week, I guess, we had a, a team meeting, and we had a big group. And uh, there's a, a still a process to be had between now and next basketball season. And um, I just... Basically, I told the girls that the high school girls that they could essentially have this week off um, because we really aren't starting anything till next week. But I asked if anybody wanted to volunteer to help with the camp, we'd certainly have them. And so I think we have eight or nine girls. It's oh. co- it's a collection of of tenth, eleventh, and twelfth graders. So yeah, well that's good. Yeah, it's hard to say how many seniors we're going to have. Year in and year out, have about four or five seniors, and I expect next year to be about the same. About the same. Yeah. So. Well, that's pretty exciting. So. Um, so do you get any time off during the summer or do you, I, I mean, what what can you do during the summer? And hopefully this will be a more normal summer than in the past. Yeah. You know, I was just thinking about that. We didn't have this camp last summer. Right. And so I'm hoping there's a lot of excitement to get back to it. And as far as I can tell, we're getting pretty close back to normal mm-hmm. around, around the school and things are going to go pretty smooth and I hope. And, um, don't have a lot of time off in June, but that's okay. I mean, that you know, I, I really enjoy coaching basketball. So yeah. uh, the biggest difference, I think, for, for me and for the, a lot of the high school girls is that the spring sports are still going on. You know, we're, That's right. We're going to be, I'll just give you, for instance, Tuesday before the camp starts, at, before the door opens at 8, I'll be at track practice. We have track practice from 7 to 8 every morning now. And, yep. and uh, a lot of our girls do track, but of course, a lot of them do softball. And so they'll be at softball after that. And yep. it's yep. Uh, kind of a tricky balance finding time to insert drills and skills camp. <laughs> but I think we did it. I think we found a niche there, nine to noon uh, for these three days right at the beginning of summer. And so uh, busy is better than bored. Is oh, the way that's I right. Look at it, so. Well, and last year was just so so different. I mean, we couldn't have the graduation in the bowl. We did the drive-through yeah. thing. Uh, the rest of the school year from from March, middle of March on, was was uh, different. Canceled basically. No sports. Um, yeah. And then, not, like you said, nothing really during the summer last summer. Now we're starting to get back, but with, with this. Uh, modified sports schedule where we're doing nine months worth of sports in four months squeezing basically. it in there it's been a balancing act it, for sure it uh, really has we're all kind of used to last night being the end of the school year yeah and oh yeah we've got softball saturday yeah. <laughs> we've got baseball and softball tuesday and next saturday so yeah and track and track yeah how's the how's the track team looking pretty good uh the girls side's looking really strong boy side's getting better and mm-hmm. we're excited about our our chances at the state track meet so that's got a bunch got a good group that's qualified for state. yeah i want to say coach Khan said we had about 40 kids right now on both boys and girls so that's a big group um, well that's a good number that ought to help yeah because at the state it's it's all about getting as yeah. many points as you can in it's all these depth. different events yeah yeah depth really helps and so it's hard to say that's how it's all going to pan out but at this point we've got a good collection of of kids qualified so when, when's the state that. track meet this year uh june 26th okay so it's the same weekend as the yeah, baseball every, and softball everything so. is going to wrap up that weekend and we're sure hoping they change some of the restrictions by then yeah you know the the masks and uh the overnight trips it's 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 really going to be difficult for all the teams to have to get up the crack of dawn to drive to Albuquerque to compete and then turn around and come right back home. <laughs> so I know I teams know. up north have a little advantage, you know, especially the Albuquerque teams. They get to sleep in their own bed and show up, sleep in a little bit. But yeah. we're not going to complain. Everybody's going through the same thing. We're all, we're all, all the teams are dealing with it. So I just think maybe by the end of June, some of the restrictions may relax and <coughs> uh, they'll reward us with. Uh, I hope so. I mean, uh, yeah, for sure. I, I, I saw that kids walking across to get their diploma or their certificate last night and most of them didn't have a mask on but some of them yeah. did and i'm thinking well that picture you're not going to get that picture again in your life that's when you get that picture and yeah and if they want to have it on that's fine that's their their choice but the main sure. stuff is is uh, kind of crazy i was watching a graduation in georgia this morning 
for some reason interesting popped up on my feed and yeah and uh they panned the crowd <laughs> i saw one mask yeah. you know and it was a yeah. large student body that came in they started at like the 50 yard line and every 10 yards oh, yeah. all the way to the end zone one mask yeah. you know so it's it's just a different and then people I, are about done with them i think i, I think so yeah that's that's what i think so yeah. well good is there anything else you want to uh, mention about the camp or any anything um, else you'd like to mention today yeah i will mention a, one more thing and i think i heard you say you're going to have louis Riss on later yes uh, the city rec for girls basketball starts june 7th okay so not this next week but the week after that and uh that's every monday through thursday at bulldog pit uh from eight to noon and it's free uh, it's really a chance for kids to come to the gym and, and play and and uh, there will be high school girls there who are you know working for the city who uh, practice the, or work out those little girls that show up and there's boys too mm -hmm. so we share the gym with the boys uh, but our city rec program is getting ready to start and we're excited by that so that's every day Monday through Thursday June 7th all the way to uh, 21st maybe or the 24th the last I believe the last Thursday in June. So, good, good. Yeah, it's it's a good time, and hopefully we get a lot of kids out for that too. Yeah, I, uh, he's supposed to come in here in about 15 minutes. Talk about that. Talk about the pool and yeah, the they, splash pad. I mean, they're they trying to sure get do a good job of that. We want to thank Louie and, and Jeannie down there at the center for helping us with that, and they they do a fantastic job of getting the kids going. So it's good. Good deal. All yeah. right, Coach Hodling, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Appreciate yep. it. And Thanks for having me. Best of luck with the camp next week. Thank you. All right. Let's uh, take a break, see what Jared's dug up for you in the newsroom. Eric Butler has a sports update, and Kim Commando has your tech tip for today. Now for a Pecos Valley News update, I'm Ed Heistead. Seven Shaves County Sheriff's Deputy recruits will graduate from the Law Enforcement Training Academy in Hobbs. Sheriff Mike Harrington says during that time, the recruits have been